when I left the United States, six months old. It's just a little baby. And I was six years old. Seven and a half. When we went to Kempo in Seoul, Korea, it was just a Quonset hut. That was the international airport. And there wasn't a building above one story. We were the first American dependents into Korea after the Korean War. We had no running water. We had one faucet in the house where water came in and it was in the Korean kitchen, which was a mud floor. And this one faucet was 12 inches off the floor. As I say, this water was not sterile. You could not drink it. I, everything had to be boiled. The Korean War was only about four years past, and the people in Korea were still pretty dislocated by the war. There was a lot of orphans, um, new orphanages being set up, and the people were very poor. The Koreans were very friendly. In our case, uh, my husband spoke Korean, so we didn't suffer particularly until I was going out wandering around, and then, of course, I had some interesting experiences uh, not being able to speak the language. The Koreans had seen GIs, of course, but they had never seen American kids, and all of us had blonde hair, and there were five kids at that point and I can remember constantly having people reach out and try to touch my hair. It was right after the war and they see all the American GIs but then when they see miniature Americans because in Korea there were Koreans coming up to Maureen touching her hair because it was blonde. And uh, I was a really shy kid so it was really disturbing to have all these people try to touch me. We arrived on the uh, 10th of September in Korea, and uh, nine days later, on the 19th, I woke up in the morning and I thought, I'm going to have a baby today. I had all the indications. Uh, seven weeks early, and so this happened to be a morning when the Turkish president was going to be visiting and so all the school children in national costume were lined up along the streets and we had to go across town out into the edge of the Seoul to the Seventh-day Adventist Hospital. I went into the hospital and of course it's all Korean, very small room that was the labor room and on the delivery table was a Korean lady in the middle of of delivering or in her labor and they immediately picked her up and put her on the floor and put me on the table and then people started coming to the door and coming in and all of a sudden I realized that the whole room was full of Koreans, gardeners and cooks and everybody that wanted to see if the American woman had babies the same way Korean ladies did. But I thought, so what? And I went ahead and Jamie was delivered. My mother ended up having Jamie, my younger, my younger brother, um, 10 days after we arrived. And I think that was sort of the bigger event for us than it was moving to a new country. There was no place set up for kids. 
I, I remember how we were enculturated with the Koreans because they're one of the people we had to play with. This is a war-torn area. They were just normal little noisy kids. <laughs> You tend to be very close, and I think we became even closer because we relied on each other so much. You know, when you travel together, the only people to talk to, the only people to play games with, whatever, is your, your brothers, your siblings.